it's relatively easy for students to share notebooks on Evernote. Um, but it is very important to let them know to share notebooks and not individual notes. Um, sharing individual notes would be very difficult to evaluate. This is a newly created Evernote web account that's just been confirmed through email. Before students confirm their email addresses, the sharing icons won't appear, and that can be some source of frustration. So let's go ahead and create a new notebook. For the purposes of the class, it's a good idea to create one with your name. And maybe a course number. That's going to be important from your point of view um, because you'll find that there uh, suddenly will be a great number of, uh, of, of notebooks shared with you, uh, particularly if you're doing this across several sections. So we'll go ahead and create the notebook. Um, now, there's several ways to share that notebook. Um, you can share them either from the notebook list or from the inside of the notebook where we are now. So if we click on the share button, it'll give us some options. It, if you've got Google accounts, um, you can go ahead and find contacts and it'll populate your contacts. Um, but it's probably easier just to type an email address in. It's very important in this case to get that email correct. Um, one of the sources of frustration in my classes were people um, who shared me email accounts that weren't associated with their Evernote um, or who shared me email um, or who gave me email addresses that weren't correctly transcribed. Um, and in those cases, you can have some real problems. So make sure that you have an accurate um, list of your students email addresses that will allow uh, allow you to to send something pretty easily um, and then as soon as I went to I can I can type a message here's my shared folder I can set permissions can edit and invite can edit or can view um, for this purpose, I'll go can edit and invite, though. Um, can edit alone will usually do the trick, uh, unless you need your students to be able to add other people to the folder. Um, then if you go ahead and click send, what that does is it'll send a message um, to the associated email, but it'll also send a message through Evernote Work Chat. Um, and Work Chat is a, is a, a, a pretty lightweight um, chat client that's mostly good for uh, for sending notebooks and identifying them so um, you can also answer student questions within work chat though again those will only appear um, when you're logged into Evernote for the share to begin all that they'll have to do is um, accept the shared notebook in their own work chat